Hey, yeah, viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist and welcome to The Backroom, Lost and Found. This is a game that is free on Steam. Uh, you can go and download this for the grand old price of nothing at all. So, um, as you'll probably guess from the name, this is based on The Backrooms. Um, it's a Backrooms game, essentially. And, yeah, it's tagged as horror, but apparently it's got kind of a vibe of its own. So, I thought, you know what? Looks like it might be quite interesting. So as you can see, it's got Floor 1 The Lost, Floor 1 The Found, whatever that means. Um, but other than that, you know, I don't really know anything about maybe what it's all about, if it's like puzzle-oriented, uh, if it is it more like atmosphere, or is it jump scares, I don't really know. We'll see. But you know me, I, I do like the Backrooms as a concept. I've played a couple of uh, Backrooms-themed games before, and, you know, I have other ones that I have my eye on, including this one, that I would like to give a shot. So without further ado, let's get in. Floor 1, The Lost. Uh, enable Guiding Hooves. Guiding hooves are discrete, small hoof imprints across the levels. They tell a bit of extra story and guide you through some of the confusing locations. They can be turned on or off from the menu at any time. Um, Sure. We'll enable them. So, I mean, if it tells a bit of extra story, then cool, right? Okay, well, we'll enable them. Constructing the world, please wait. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, if... Whoa. Damn, Jesus. All right, well, we're straight in. Welcome to the back rooms. That is dark. But then again, it, oh, it sort of lights up as we get nearer. Okay, so there's a sprint and a stamina mechanic. Okay, uh, these are the hooves over here. Oh, guiding hooves. It's hard to say why, but there's certain reassurance coming from these tiny hoof marks. They seem determined to find a way out of this place. Okay, yeah, because you know how the back rooms usually goes. It's always very sort of big and confusing, a bit of a maze. So actually, it's probably best to have some sort of guide. There is a chair over there. Uh, so that's where the hoof marks come through. What's the deal with the chair over here? Now, like I say, I don't know if this is going to be jump scary. I don't know if there's going to be monsters in this game. Oh. Well, that's interesting. But, you know, as we go along, you should see... Where am I? Sorry, I've just got completely distracted. Okay, you should see that this is going to be, by the looks of it, an interesting take on the backroom's concept. Oh, is that more hooves there? Some small hoofed creature has gone through here, heading towards this, by the looks of it. Can I go through here? I can. But do I want to yet? That's the question. As I feel like, there's other stuff around here that we could be exploring. Ooh, it loads every time I go through that door. Interesting. So what's going on over here? What's all this about? Just the traffic cones and the boxes? So it still just says, where am I, up in the top left. Oh, one of seven weird paintings discovered. Okay, so there are collectible kind of things for you to find. I don't know if necessarily we'll be going for 100% completion this playthrough, but... Well, it's interesting, you know. Okay, it's a fairly small, compact area, this, so we have to go in this direction. Right, um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I was about to... Also, also, one thing I will say. Um, so, I don't think this is a long game. I think it's one of those that maybe you could do in, like, one or two hours. So, probably what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, sit down, play through... Whoa. Play through all, or at least as much as I can. Uh, is that a fucking shadow through there? It looks like it. Interesting. Okay. I mean, it's definitely got a very curious vibe to it. It's almost like you can see through that wall there, interestingly. Kind of strange, isn't it? Now, the fact that there is technically a sprint mechanic does make me a bit worried. It makes me think there is definitely going to be a monster or something that I'm just going to have to avoid. Because I just wander around until I find whatever it is it's wanting me to look for. Ooh. One of ten. Almond waters collected. Okay. So, paintings and almond water. Okay. Well, we'll keep our eyes peeled for that. All right, through here then. So definitely feels like a very interesting take then on the back room's concept. Well, something's going on over there. Ooh, what's that? Oh. I don't like the fact there's a human silhouette. It's making me a bit concerned. What's that? It's like a rubbish shoot thing. Laundry shoot or something. All right, fine. We'll go towards the friggin' human shape. All right, what is it? Who is it? Is it? Oh, it's a mannequin. Oh, hell no. It's been a lot of it like a mannequin that's going to follow me around. 
Oh boy. Okay, you're not moving yet. Holy moly. Okay, it just says find a way out. Now that is kind of impressive, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Holy shit. But I don't think we want to be dropping off there now, do we? What's this thing over here, though? This weird little room. Huh. Well, it's got a fireplace. A little fire in it. There's another almond water. I'll take that. Almond water on the table. The one almond water on the table seems lonely. Okay. Can I... Oh, oh I've got a lean. Okay. I should also check the controls in case there's like an interact or something. Is there... Into controls. Space to jump. Shift to sprint. Well, there's not an interact key by the looks of it. So what's that about? Is there a... Is that maybe the one that I picked up? Maybe this is like a collectible room? Maybe. Oh, sorry. What was what was that that I just saw there? A cute painting of a carafe. Might be a good idea to find and collect as many paintings as possible. Oh, God, it's right there. You can't really see it. At the painting I must have picked up before. Okay, so this is like a collectible room, I guess. And everything we find is going to appear in there, perhaps. Oh, God, could we actually walk along here? Well, we can. <laughs> All right. That mannequin is still over there. I don't know why he's there, but I'm worried that at some point he's going to move or something like that. Whoa, God. I fell. Oops. Yeah. Don't fall. Feels like I slipped. Oh. Achievement unlocked, I got lost. <laughs> oh, but at least we're here, though. Mannequin. Oh, God, you've definitely moved. You've shifted. Why is that? Oh, wait a minute. There's a fucking giraffe painting right over there. Two of seven curious paintings discovered. Or a carafe, as technically as it's, as it's called. So does that actually now appear in here somewhere? So that was the one that I found originally. It's a painting po point there. Has it not appeared in here? Uh, maybe not. What's this? Motherly painting looks like a portrait made by a child. Wait, is that another mannequin over there? It looks like it. I am very concerned that at some point we're going to get attacked by these freaking mannequins, whatever they are. Well, we can't go through there. Or right, there's got to be a way around. Maybe we go upstairs. Alright. Let's have a little look around here, then. I do like the design, though. It's very... Very, very surreal. Isn't it? Okay. There is a bit of a head bob, by the way, with the movement. So, ooh, what the... Carafe, oh carafe, come and save me. Oh, Jesus. I should be looking for the... Oh, my God, what is going on here? I should be looking for the hoof marks. Because they'll show the way. Yeah, I mean, I feel like... <laughs> the hoof marks probably are a bit like cheat mode. Because essentially they show you where you actually need to go, but... We can take a bit of time sometimes just to explore around, maybe. See if there's anything else worth looking at. Okay, it feels like the environments are kind of fairly compact so far. So, yeah, you, it, there is probably a risk that some players might get a bit lost. Okay, let's see where the hoof marks actually go. It's getting a bit flashy around here. Like I say, really... Oh, lovely. Well, it's definitely a bit more of a horror vibe coming here. Why is it that when I turn like that, the music's in my right ear? <laughs> Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like what's going on there. My character just started choking. Can I run through? That's bad. Okay, what's that over there? Is that something? Oh god, there. There. That's where I need to go. Whew. Am I out of the bad area? Jesus. Oh, God, there's another mannequin. Of course there is. How are you doing there, bud? He's covering your eyes. Something's written on the wall. It controls the room. What is the link? That's something about the mannequins. Why are the mannequins after the... something? I can't tell what it says. I can't read it. After the something or other. I we can find a way through there. Oh, let's actually look through this window. It might show you... Why are the mannequins after the cues? Hmm. There's also hoof marks in there. But I can't really do anything with them. There's more here. Looks like they're going off over there. Jump to get to the negative side. Unaligned floor, find it. Huh. Okay. What's this about? It would appear that the creature has been jumping around here. Alright, there's a puzzle going on. Oh! 
Okay. Right. Return to the positive side. Well, that was unexpected, but very interesting. What's that there? Some small hoofed creature has gone through here. Well, this took a very interesting turn, didn't it? Like I said, this has definitely got a unique vibe going on. Also interesting that it's got music, because I feel like all the other Backrooms games I've ever played before never really had music in them. Alright, what's going on in here then? There's a puzzle, clearly, that needs solving. Yeah. Man, I can't believe I didn't play this sooner, to be honest. It feels kind of cool. Why is it going over here? Huh. I mean, this is just a dead end. So I'm not sure what that's about. Unless it's like a... Oh wait, no. Oh, it's going around the edge. Okay, sure. That is just darkness and despair in there. I don't want to deal with that. Hmm. Do I want to go upstairs, or...? No, let's go upstairs. What do we... Is there anything around here? Oh no, it's just a dead end. Never mind. Well, it looks like we're going upstairs then. God, the aesthetic is really interesting, isn't it? Aha, is this another floor? have to use this to get back to the positive side. I'm assuming so, since it's displaced and all that. There we go! Aha! We return to the positive side. Search for an exit. Okay. God, it reminds me a bit of, like, the veil in Wolfenstein 2009, or, uh... That sort of, like, flashback mechanic in Doorways Chapter 3. You remember that? Aha! We're here now! Okay. What are... Carafes. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> nice. Well, you're still in there, are you? But you're no longer covering your eyes, I see. Oh. Caraf child rescued. Achievement locked. Missing and returned. Whoa. Who? Wait. Are you talking to me? Please, mister, can you take me home? Okay. I'll try my best. Don't you worry. Oh, God. He's definitely moving. Is he moving every time I look away? Oh god, he is, yeah. <laughs> Twizzling it around. Oh, he's looking. He's, uh. Find the craft child's home and find an exit. Yeah, every time I do a full rotation, you change position and all that. Weird. Craft toys are anomalous. Well, at least the. Oh, what? Turning point seems the little fella didn't dare go to, to go further. However, perhaps the home is somewhere in that direction. Okay. Let's have a look then, shall we? Look at this, though. Okay. You know, the best sort of depictions, or depiction, rather, that I've seen of the back room so far was probably the um, complex found footage. Remember that one? But this is certainly a very interesting take on it. What's going on in here? Huh. Weird. Oh, wait, what? Here. Show me what's going on through there. It's just a light, isn't it? Going back and forth. Alright. Well, someone left a ladder in here. What a very interesting take on the concept, though. What's going on there? It's like a shaft of some kind. Alright, well, that was the blue room that we just went through. Interesting. What's going on in there? Is that just nothingness? No. So there's no hooves, I assume, around here. There's another mannequin over in that direction. My god, look at that out there. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Damn. Okay. It doesn't feel like there's any monsters. At least none so far. But maybe I should keep my uh, sprint juice conserved. Mm. At least for the time being. In case something does pop out. And try to attack me. Aha! Oh, look! Whoa! Why? Are you going to be a threat? Is it genuinely going to be like a weeping angel? Yeah, he moved, didn't he? Did he? Did he move? Or maybe not. I don't know what the deal is with, like, the weird cloud around him, if that's something I need to be worried about. I'm on the other side of this room here, though. Okay, Mr. Mannequin Man. 
you have something you want to tell me? What happens if I go right up to you? Nothing. Okay. I don't know if they are a threat or not. If I need to be concerned about them. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Alright. Down again, I guess. Is this the craft child's home? Ah. This isn't my home, but it looks like a nice room. Drive across the graph and find the mother carafe. Whoa. Is the room changing? Oh god, the room is changing. Oh my god, look at all this. I can jump in the centre of an underlying floor to clip through onto the other side. Okay, the child was saying, find my mummy. Mannequins have a negative glow. The mannequins seem to radiate the same energy that the negative side of this place has. Okay. Curious. Talk. With F, I like paintings. You can move the room by pressing the right mouse button while standing on the compass. What? With the power of the carafes, the room can now move if you press the right mouse button. Stand on the compass and face a highlighted direction. By not looking at a wall with the symbol, there is a 100% chance the wall is not solid and will allow... What? Okay. Right, there's a lot more to this than I thought. So if I hold down... Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Like pressing... It's moving. Oh God, we're kind of over the freaking thing here. Maybe we want to go over there, perhaps? Yeah, get me over there. I can feel my mum nearby. Can you go look for her? Sure. I'll do my best. I'll do my best, kid. It's a nice and comforting room in there, at least with the music and all that. Alright, do you want to go this way, then? It looks like it. Alright, so what's your deal? It says you have a negative energy, same as that of the negative side. So is that like a clue about something? Oh, there's another like little carafe in there. Hmm. So we've just got to find a way in, I'm guessing. Maybe like a misaligned floor or something that we can use? Woo. What's that? Liminal gap? What does that mean? The carafe is... Ooh. Wait, did it just... Can I squeeze myself? I can. I can squeeze myself into a narrow gap like that. Drive across the graph and find the mother carafe. Ooh. Okay, went to the negative side. <laughs> Why? Duh. Okay. Chair's just having a floor jig, it seems. We'll just let that do its thing. Okay, so this is like... It says one of those walls where... Breakcraft to have jumped into that darkness. Oh, God. So, it says if you're not looking at this, you can go through it. Oh. Never mind. I thought it said if you were not looking at it, you could go through. Well, the chair's just disappeared. The mannequins are alive in the negative side. That's not good. That probably means they're going to be a threat, right? Oh, that's there. Oh, jeez, how do I get across to it? It's saying I have to just jump into the darkness. So is that a misaligned floor? No, it's not. Is this a... No. Okay, I think it's telling me I have to go down here, but... Oh, God. Well, I'm back here, though. Oh, it took me back... What? Well, you've moved. Oh. You've unblocked that entrance. I see. I see, I see, I see. So I did need to do that. That did do something for me. Right, let's get through the gap here. Because it's like Outlast squeezing through the tiny little gaps between the walls and all that. Oh god, it's another of you guys. Do you move when I turtle? Nope, you don't. Chair! Are you going to do a floor jig? Nope. How are you doing there, bud? I'm just going to leave you well alone. Huh. Not so much lightning as they are roots. Tree roots, kind of. Weird. Uh, hang on, is there something through there before I go anywhere else? Oh, God. That's... Ooh. I don't like that. I saw that Kane Pixels video where he had a room like that where the monster was chasing him through. Well, it doesn't matter because I think we have to go through here anyway. Oh, look, another of those guys. Hooves are just saying go off over there. And that just comes around. Okay, so it, it, I think this game is good at giving you the impression of there being a fairly complex kind of labyrinthine environment. That feels like, yeah, there's definitely a walkway there, probably in the negative space. One can follow the carafe if the negative stairs in this room were solid. Okay, so we have to find a negative... Oh, there's a negative stairs, staircase there. I see. So where is somewhere where we can go into the negative space. 
Down here, maybe? Let's have a look. Haven't seen any other almond waters or... Oh, never mind. Three of seven interesting paintings. There we go. Like I say, I don't know if I'll find all of them, but... We'll have a look. We'll keep our eyes peeled and we'll try and get as many as we can. Right. Looks like this just loops around over here, doesn't it? Yeah. Ah, this is a negative floor. Boom. Right, we're in the negative space. Oh, God. Is that now a threat? That feels like it's now a threat. Oh, God. Huh. Is that the chair? Sounds like the chair. Oh, what is this? It's just a light. It's fallen over. God, that's swinging. Someone's helmet. Blood everywhere. Someone's been killed through here, it looks like. Okay, I get the feeling this is where the threat maybe comes in. From the mannequins, potentially. Alright, well, he just looped me around. That's fine. Jesus. Ugh. Not like that noise. Oh, God. That feels like it's definitely going to be a threat. Just saying. Oh. I think that chair actually just hurt me then. I stood on it. Oh. You going to be a problem? I think you are, in all likelihood. I need to find a way around you, don't I? Oh, oh. well, the hooves go over here. Uh, oh, God. Okay, you're going over there. That's fine. I'm just going to move on through. Am I going the right way? I think I might be. Yeah, we're here. See the negative stairs? We can go up and now. And we can go across, I'm assuming. Yes. So maybe just avoid the black goop shadow monsters that have uh, emerged from the mannequins. Because they're probably dangerous. That's what I'm guessing anyway. Why does it shine like that? It's so weird. Ooh, what the heck? What have I found here? Oh god, right, I think this is a bad area to be. Don't want to be in there. You're going downstairs? But what's upstairs? Oh god, I don't know if we want to go there. Wait. Whoa, wait, whoa! Whoa, it's changing around me. It's being weird. Wait, is this... Real? No. Oh, it's a negative floor. Hold on, go through. Oh, jeez. Okay, I worked my way through. There's lots of these giraffe, or carafe faces. Was that a gap in the wall? It was. Okay, go through. What's through here, then? Ha! Another picture. Okay, four of seven. Nice paintings discovered. Right, shall we go back through? I think I did the right thing there. Okay, God, it's like the Stanley Parable. It's like the world is just changing all around us. More of these weird, like, shoots are now all stretched out. Very weird. Who's go over there? I don't think we need to go through there. Follow the queue. This place messes up your spatial position. Okay, yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm aware of that. Oh, God. I say I'm enjoying it so far, though. It's very unique. Aha! All right, that looks good. Can we just jump down there, probably? Graph Mommy rescued. Oh! Oh! Go! Go down! I seem to have lost my daughter. I know you have. Jesus. How do I get out of here? I'm assuming that was a threat. It feels like it was a threat. How do I get back? I've located the carafe mother. I just need to take it back now. Return to the room. Yes, I need to find my way back through here. Oh, God. Ooh! Okay, they're coming through. That's not good. Jesus. Leave me alone. Please. How do I get out of here? Good, I don't like the sounds they make. Pretty unsettling. Oh, what? Let me through, let me through, get me through, get me through. Oh. Do they only change when you're near them, though? Feels like maybe is the answer, but... Is that mannequin still here? He's there. Oh, God, yeah. No. Oh, God, I need to watch out. Yeah, they change when you get near them. Back to the room. Is he going to... Disappear? Is he just going to stay over there? Okay, so it's definitely a threat, by the looks of it. We'll return to here. There you go. Is that you, sweetie? Mom? Mom? 
Sorry, I'm not, not much of voice acting there, but sure. I'm so worried about you. I love you so much. I love you too, Mum. But Mum, where's Dad? Oh, do we have to find Daddy Carafe now? I feel like probably. He's here somewhere. I'm sure he'll find us. Okay, we'll return to the room. Drive the room deeper. Okay. So we can't drive it in that direction, but we can go that way. That feels like it wasn't good. Okay. Can we go further over? No, we can't go over there. Alright, go over this way then. Did I do a good thing then? I don't know if I did. I don't think it felt like I did a good thing. Alright. So, give us the clue again. So in the middle of the compass, face towards a higher direction, press the right mouse button to move the, move the room. Okay. Oh look, yeah, my almond waters are appearing over there. Two almond waters are cheering me up. Cool. So now I need to figure out where it wants me to go next. Ha! Hold on a minute. I wonder if we can get over there. I don't know. Let's have a look. If we move it this way. Oh, we can't go over that way. Um. Hmm. So if we can mannequin through there. We're in the right sort of place here? I don't know. Whoa. No, you don't, buddy. Stop. Okay. They take a second to transform. They do. But I need to figure out where it wants me to go here. That's the thing. Can't go that way. And it won't let you go backwards either. So I feel like this is the only way we could have gone. Um, maybe we just... Oh, wait a minute. Unless the mannequin moves somehow, following the tracks isn't going to be possible. So I think we just need to trigger it, do we? Is that what we need to do? Get it to activate? Alright. Activated him. There he goes. Alright. Come round that side, bud. That's it. That's it, and then we go round. Actually, that's doing me no good, really, is it? Um, hmm. well, we can't go... Oh, can we go this way? We can go this way. Or can we? Or does it count as, like, a thin gap? I said, what, do we want to go that way? Oh, I thought I was getting through the wall then. I don't think we can go that way. I mean, it doesn't go anywhere, anywhere, anyway, does it? Mm. Let's drink some more tea. Alright, so I've got to figure out where it needs me to go from here. series. These Alice episodes, because, you know, they typically, typically tend to be quite long, and the gameplay is, you know, fairly repetitive at times, with a lot of platforming, solving puzzles, things like that. It's nice to have a bit of a conversation, and, you know, turn these episodes almost into kind of like a podcast sort of style, so to speak. So, yeah, good stuff. Okay, right, a little bit of a checkpoint here, so what's the deal?